Hello, welcome back to the woods. So I'm all geared up, ready for a night in the woods. I've got all my stuff in my pack, but I'm gonna stop for a bite of lunch and I thought I'd share with you what I'm gonna do. And as usual, I've kept it as quick and as simple as possible, not requiring much in the way of equipment or ingredients. And along the way, I've gathered a few fresh ingredients just to give it that little seasonal extra. So as far as gear goes, all you're going to need is your metal mug, a little chopping board, your pocket knife, a spoon, and some sort of a heat source. It could be your fire, it could be a little stove. I'm gonna use my little tiny mess burner. So as far as ingredients go, all you're gonna need is a pack of super noodles, an egg, some cashew nuts, and that's about it from the supermarket, other than perhaps a few chili flakes out of your spice kit. As far as foraged ingredients, well, all I've collected is a few nettle tips on my way in, and a good slack handful of ramsons or wild garlic. So my first job is to put 300 millilitres of water into my mug, ready to go on to boil. And then straight away, what I'm gonna do is gonna pop my egg into the water. Now, as I said, this is a very quick, simple dish. So while that egg is boiling down there, I'm gonna prep my other ingredients. Well, there's not a lot of prepping to do. All I'm gonna do is just roughly chop the nuts. And then once I've done that, just shred up the ramsons and the little nettle tips. So with the egg coming up to the boil, I'm just gonna give it five minutes on the timer. So while I'm waiting for the egg to boil, there is a little bit more prep I need to do, and that's to these, my super noodles. They come in a block, and the block don't fit in the mug. So what I need to do, scrunch them up. And that means it's time to take the egg off. So to remove my egg from the boiling water, I'm gonna use a spoon, and then to keep the egg warm while everything else is cooking, I'm just gonna wrap it up in my warm kit. So with the egg out of the water, all you then do is add your noodles and your little sachet of flavoring. They take about four minutes to simmer. Now once that lot's been simmering away for about three minutes, what I'm gonna do then is add my chili flakes. With that done, for the last minute, I'm gonna add in my shredded greens. So with the green stirred in, I've popped the lid on, I'm gonna give those a minute or two to stir, and while that's happening, I'm gonna peel my boiled egg. So with the egg peeled and 
boy that was hot. All I'm gonna do now is dish the noodles up into my dish, sprinkle a few of the cashew nuts on, chop up the egg, throw that on the top. So there you go, quick, simple, and good enough to eat. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Absolutely delicious. Quick, simple, with a lovely hit of spring, with a nice, bit of heat in there as well. Well worth the effort. Now if you enjoyed this video then remember hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already like and subscribe to the channel. You could also get involved with the channel by becoming a patron. Down in the description box down below, there's a little link tree box which takes you over to all of those. You can also follow me over on my social media, which reminds me. Um, I'm over on Instagram. I'm down, down as Neil underscore Greencraft. And that's a new account because my old account, the one with the 2,000 odd subscribers, excuse me, got hacked. So do me a favour whip over to Instagram, look me up over on there. As I said, there is a link in the description box down below and give me a follow. Also down there, you will find the link to the Greencraft shop over on Etsy. Pop over there, grab yourself one of the, the Greencraft patches, either a woven or a leather one, but also keep your eye on the shop because there is some new stuff coming up. There's a few old favorites like the EDC light pouches, but there are also the food bar headbands and there is a new item. There's gonna be my version of the cuts kit. And if you go back into my videos, you'll see the, the early prototype that I did <coughs> of the cuts kit. It's not the medical supplies, it is the pouch that it goes in. So you can decide what you want to put in it, but the pouch is very useful, very practical little item, which if you carry a knife, you should carry a cuts kit. Anyway, enough of all that. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.